Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today here at Two Old Thunder TV, where we're on another adventure here at the V Twin Show, 12th annual V Twin Show, I might add. At Persano Publications puts on, Dave Nichols and all his guys do have a wonderful job here. We're having a great time. Today, PRL, Jetstream Intake Systems, is going to tell us about a new product they got on. Jerry, appreciate you joining us, the brother. Appreciate you, Jimmy. Listen, you've got all kinds of really cool stuff here that gives us more torque, which people always say, well, you know, i got to have more horsepower. You don't ride horsepower, ladies and gentlemen, just for information. You ride torque. Tell us what you got. Absolutely. Torque is what gets you going, and if you lose torque, you're not going fast. You're not going nowhere. <laughs> well, what we have here is um, a patented inline filter with um, inverted conical filter, obviously. And what it is is a velocity stack design. Uh, it tapers, eventually creating a Venturi effect, uh, which speeds up your air. And that's basically what gets you that torque. When you put on a bigger filter and kill your intake velocity, well, you lose torque. You might gain some top end power, but you lose torque. And you know, we don't want to lose torque. No. Um, but it doesn't stop there. You know, we got, um, we designed some other things in, in the system. Most other companies have their aluminum bracket with Connected aluminum directly to the bike. Exactly, via banjo fitting. Uh, you got 230 degree temperature heads, aluminum on aluminum, what That's do we got? That's if you're lucky. Yeah. That's if you're lucky. You got heat transfer. Exactly. And you got hot air coming in. Absolutely. Going right back into your intake charge. Now you're sitting in traffic, scorching hot day, and your bike's not running right. Well, it's not running right because it's a hot charge. There's no oxygen in that, in the volume of air because it's, it's hotter. Um, and you kill your velocity when you have bigger filters on. That's the other element, the heat and the velocity factor. Well, with this, with the heat segregation and the velocity, your bike will actually idle better. Well, see, that's important because, you know, we got guys that ride down in Texas. We got Daytona Bike Week coming up. You know, it gets hot down Absolutely. south. Absolutely. And when it gets hot and you're on a V-twin, I know the motor starts at 230, but you're in the heat. It's about 100 degrees. There's no wind, and you're in traffic. Now you're up about 250, 260 degrees, and you're cooking. You're cooking. You're cooking. And, and so your you poor motor's cooking. Oh, and your poor motor. And so this also, the more air, the cooler air, you're keeping the temperature down, increasing Still the life cool. of the bike. Absolutely. And the longer you can keep that bike cooler, the longer and the longevity of the bike, the less cash that you've got to spend maintaining your bike. Absolutely, Jimmy. We incorporated phenolic spacers to segregate that heat. We use the stock bolts. We don't use banjo fittings. Banjo fittings are for pressure lines. You don't have a natural flow with a banjo fitting. With this, you also have a natural flow. So we got the heat segregation. We got the natural flow. It's, it's all good. It's all good. OK, now you got a couple other things. I'm riding in my bike, and I, I'm one of these guys that like to ride. I've got an open air intake system here. It's starting to rain. What am I going to do about that? Well, first off, you have no exposed filter. Okay. You can leave your bike out in the rain with this system, get back on it when it stops raining. And you're ready to rock and you're roll. You're ready to rock and roll. But for the diehard who wants to ride in the rain. Yeah, well, there's, there's a few of us diehards that still like to ride. We're hard-headed enough to ride no matter what. What we did was design a rain cap. It's pretty simple. You just basically pull over. You screw in this screw. Keep the rain cap in your tour pack, saddlebag, exactly, exactly. pouch on the front of your bike. You're on your way. Here, I want you to pick that up by that by, by the rain cap, just to see, show you how sturdy that is. Ah, now that's just with one screw holding the bike or holding the cap on top of it. Now let's do one other thing real quick. We have just a couple of minutes left here, just a couple of seconds left. Um, let's go to the bling bling factor. You got the bling bling factor. Now, one of the other things is, a lot of aftermarket companies, they'll come out and say, well, listen, all you're going to do is put one of these little goodies on. Oh, they're in. Yeah. Put on one of these little goodies on, and you're protected. 
Now that's gonna protect your filter and your oil. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my hand's wet. That came right through that. So I have a stage two air intake system on my scooter, on my Harley. And if I put this on there and I start riding in the rain, guess what I've got? Water. I got water. And that's not very good for my bike. I wouldn't want to let your bike sit out in the rain with that thing up because your filter is going to get saturated in water. And what do you do? You go to start and she starts coughing on you. Now, tell us how we get in touch with you. You got a website? Absolutely. PRMRacing.com. PRRacing.com. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to put that down at the bottom of this clip. It's going to be a hot link. PRRacing.com. PRMRacing.com. I'll get it straight. That's it. We'll get it typed correctly down at the bottom. Absolutely. That's the important part. Appreciate That'll it. be a hot link. Check them out. What we're going to do is we're going to put this on a Harley. We're going to run the fire out of it, see how it works out, and we'll report back to you and see how it takes out. Brother, appreciate it. I appreciate it. We're going to have a lot of fun working together. Absolutely. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.